You also heard me talk about in the first segment um, about climate change, the things that are happening, and how globalists are using this. Globalists abroad at the U.N., you heard the U.N. chief talk about how we need to take money from these oil companies to uh, punish them and to uh, pay for the damage that they've done. (laughs) How it's their fault, you know, it's not... They exist because there's demand for energy and fossil fuels. But anyway, they need to pay for all of the damage that's done to the earth um, so that we can save the earth. Well, we cannot save the earth. We cannot save America. Yes, there is a remnant. There is always a remnant that God uses, and he does it to confound the people who are wise in their own eyes. You know, there's 6% of the population in the United States has a biblical worldview, which means that they believe the right and true things that the Bible tells us, that God created it all, so he has authority over it all, and he owns it all. He created us in his image, and we have purpose, and we will answer to him one day, and if we chose him, we will spend eternity with him because he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. So there it is. That's the biblical worldview. If you believe all that, you're a six percenter. Folks, we need that. Well, God doesn't need that six percent to get bigger. He can do whatever he wants with one man, just like he did in the flood, right? The world was evil. There was only one righteous person, and that was Noah. So God destroyed the whole earth, and he, he accomplished his purposes. Look where we are now with one man. So God can do whatever he wants with whatever he wants. But as for me and my house, I want to serve the Lord. I want to be in that remnant. I want to come alongside what God is doing and his purposes and be salt and light and be on the right side and see souls one. That is the goal. That is our purpose, that we are, that we are created in his image. And God wants to spend eternity with each and every one of us. And it's up to those of us who have uh, come to know Christ to tell others what we know, why we know it, and why they should know it too. 